All right, guys. Um, as you can see, I'm home and I was editing. Um, I was editing the video, the one you're getting ready to watch, and uh, I realized that I'd cut in a clip. I cut a clip out explaining what I was doing. The video starts out with me daing around the area that I just roughed out. And it's important that you know what I'm doing is I'm feather edging that rough grinder edge that I put around there. Um, I'm feather edging it with 80 grit on the DA so that the primer, or not the primer, so that the body filler that I put on there will stick. I'm going to get all that shine off of that uh, that silver paint. And that's ending my little doll sitting behind my shoulder here. I hope you guys are enjoying these and um, and you learn something from them. All right, I mixed up some body filler. You, uh, most of everybody's done that enough. You know how to do it. Now I'm gonna really press this first coat and they're really good. So it really bites into those scratches. I'm, you kind of can't tell. And maybe you can see the fender moving a little bit. I'm pushing on it pretty hard. Um, and I realized some of you this may look easy and to some of you who have done this you realize that until you get the hang of it it is not as easy as it looks um, but there's only one way to get better at stuff and that's by doing it but at least with you watching me you'll get an idea of how it's supposed to be done and like I said in this video earlier uh, my goal here is to show you how I would fix this well pretty much just like I am just this is exactly how I would fix it if, um, if I was in the body shop instead of in the school right now. Um, one thing, the only thing different is I'd be going a whole lot faster if I was in the in the body shop setting than I am right now. So we're gonna let that set up. And we'll start sanding that. All right, I got 80 grit on a six inch sanding block. Um, this isn't rock hard it's totally hard enough to sand again if you let this get totally hard it just sands a whole lot harder it will feather edge better but i know that this is going to need another coat so my objective now is to get the shape there so i'm going to do it with the block this is probably one spot that i'm not going to film doing it exactly like i would do it if i wasn't teaching kids because i would buzz this down with the da and get it shaped up but i, I really don't want to set that set you up for that example right now um i would totally finish it with a block like i am right now but i would probably start out with the da but even with the block it doesn't take that long just trying to be honest with you on what i would be doing um as you can see i'm actually this fender is kind of on the floppy side nothing to do with the damage just the way it's set up once the headlights in there it'll hold it steady but until it is, it's gonna floppy. So I'm using my hand to hold it. Now, all I'm gonna do is, matter of fact, I think I'm gonna put this on time-lapse because I want you to watch what happens, but there's no need to uh, make it take 10 minutes either. Okay. Now we can, you can take a look at it here. Um, obviously, there's places where there's metal showing, it's, it's, it's a little high. Um, but these areas here are not, I'm not gonna fool with them. They're, they're gonna be fine. But that little spot right there, that's really high. And you can, if you run your hand flat, hold it flat, you can tell. And spots like this, obviously they're low. They haven't even been sanded. But the shape is all there, the body line's pretty good. So I'm gonna take the pick part of this hammer. I'm gonna hold on to it, the fender just to steady it, and I'm just gonna barely tap that down. I mean, I'm barely hitting it. Now I'm gonna mix up another coat, put another coat on there. None of this is thick at all. I mean, it, it's maybe, it's not even a 16th of an inch thick in the thickest areas. So, I'll shut the camera off, get another coat put on there. All right, got a little, little bit more filler mixed up here. And you can kind of tell the difference between the way this goes on 
are because the, the the shape underneath of it is so much better now than what I started with uh, it automatically looks better as soon as you start putting the filler on there and the better you get it putting body color on the faster you can do this uh, just because you don't end up with big globs that you have to smooth out you'll see what I mean in a minute here this is starting to really take shape and uh, all the techniques this is just one of those things that you just kind of have to master after doing it long enough there we go a little bit right there all right let that get hard and we'll sand that smooth i will show you i will show you this for a minute I like to what's left and there wasn't much left this is the same board I used for the first application I like to spread what's left out there and let that get hard and you didn't see me do it but I'll take a sanding block before I mix up the next coat and I'll just sand any of these rough edges off and I'll just keep using this over and over and over again well at least four or five times anyway just to save on cardboard okay now I'm gonna start blocking this again I'm gonna do it the same way I did before um, again I'm gonna put this on time-lapse here in just a minute and this is one of those things I can't really uh, you kind of have to do it the key is I'm holding this block flat guys and even though this fender has rolls and everything you kind of just follow the contour with the block you don't ever want to stand it on its edge or anything like that. Uh, you can lean on one side of it, meaning put a little more weight, but that's about as far as you want to go. And you see the body line? I'm starting to shape the body line. Um, I'm going in all directions. And after I get it, see I've got it pretty much leveled off now. There's no real low spots jumping out at you. Um, now I'm going to start on this side, and then I'm also going to start feathering it in, getting the feather edge up there. Now I'll put this on time lapse. Okay, guys, I got this 90% uh, straight, and that was 80 grit. And as you guys know, as far as the order of succession when it comes to grits and body filler, it's 80, 180, and 320. Uh, some people start with 40 grit for body filler. This spot was not big enough to meet 40 grit sandpaper. Uh, so 90% straight. Now I'm gonna finish it up because these are all 80 grit scratches. We can't prime over those, but we can prime over 180, but I'm ultimately, I'm gonna end up with 320. So what I'm doing now is switching to 180. Now, this isn't the normal paper I would use, but I got a ton of it and it was free. So we're gonna use this. I'm just gonna hold it on the block like that. I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with the 80 grit, but I'm gonna do it with the, one, the 180. And that's gonna get rid of the 80. It's gonna, get it the, the, it's gonna give it the final finish, and then I'm gonna go around the outside of it with 320. Um, but you saw me do all that, so there's no need to lengthen this thing any longer. I'll come back to you when I hit the 320. All right, now, I've got 320 grit on a DA. I'm not using this to try and straighten any body work. It is straight. Guys, that feels great. You're gonna to to take my word for it. But I'll take the camera up there close to it in a minute and show you the body line looks good. Now, all I'm doing is going around and making all this shiny stuff. I'm gonna scratch it all up with the 320 um, and it's gonna feather in good. And that's gonna give the primer something to stick to because I'm gonna the primer's gonna end up being all the way out here. So. make sure that our gap is still good get her in there that's really nice that's gonna be fine now we're gonna get her taped up for primer but I all right you 
see that body line looks nice. Um, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a little bit of this uh, 180. I'm just gonna fold it by hand. I'm just gonna run over that a little bit just to take the sharpness off of it. Um, now I'm gonna get her prepped up. Okay, all this has been sanded with 320 all around. I'm gonna use a form of back tape in here around this headlight. I'm gonna use a form of back tape in here. You see how I'm putting the sticky side against there? Now I'm gonna put my paper to it. You'll see it. I'm gonna put this on time lapse and uh, go from there. Okay, since this has body filler, I always use a solvent based cleaner, pre cleaner, and I don't kill it and I make sure I wipe it all, wipe it as dry as I can get it. Oops. And I do this before I mix up the primer so that uh, any solvent that doesn't, uh, that I don't get wiped off or it, it, let me rephrase that. So all the solvent will have a chance to evaporate out of it. Because I mean, that's dry now, but any of it that, because uh, that body filler is somewhat porous, um, I want it to evaporate. So now, take a minute and go mix up some, some primer. Oops, turn my air back on here. Okay, there we go. Now I don't, I don't try and kill it and, and put it on too wet. And remember guys, you don't want to mix this stuff too thick because uh, it won't, it won't go into the scratches. But it causes a bridging problem. So there's one coat. We'll let that flash off totally and then put another one on. Okay. We let that flash off. See, I can actually even touch that primer. You don't want to build up a bunch of solvent. This thing's probably only going to take two coats, so this is probably the last one I put on. And you notice I didn't prime right up to the tape line because that'll leave a hard line. There's already going to be a line there from the ogre spray but I don't want to make it any, uh, any thicker than necessary. So, I'll probably spray a coat of guide coat on there and call that good enough, we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna spray a guide coat on there. Uh, this is actually the real deal guide coat. And uh, you'll see when we say in this, it will uh, it will show me any uh, imperfections as we uh, as we block it. So, I guess this is probably going to be the third video, and this will be the shortest. We'll see.